Welcome back. We're going to be opening some Double Masters Collector's Edition. And I have been told it is very confusing, but at least it's short and sweet. Box in a box. Oh, no! <laughs> you Why? see they're trying to reduce packaging by making Why a package you... in your package. <laughs> Why would you do this? What is the point of this? I told Frank he was going to be confused as soon as we opened the boxes. It's got all the same stuff. It's got... At least that's... All in actually on it and not a yeah, sticker. Yeah, it's not a sticker. But why would you do that? But you've got the seals here, which you can see didn't get ripped from you yeah. opening the pull tab. What's the point of having it there? <laughs> and uh, I can see that one. Yeah, that one to prevent that you one from you opening you'd the bottom. But that you'd have to cut it. You, yeah, you'd have to cut it and try to what reseal it somehow. I'm confused. What the hell is even that? But in each box that we then force well, then. the giant flap out of. Just put the seal there. I we fixed get. your problem. I saved you a million dollars, wizards. <laughs> Hasbro, what are you doing? Four collector's packs each. This one also does not have a topper. Yes. Mine does not have on one topper. side. They're in the packs, though. So, they're on one side. Trail. That's the lucky one, I guess. Yeah, they kind of get shifted around in there. You would think being in two boxes, they would stay where they put them. But no, one always, like, shifts over to the side. We could have spent money on protection. And I like how we just have just the crazy face on the front. <laughs> Only one. There's no, no multiple. They come with the Japanese. There we go. I was going to say the, the cut. Yep. Your token will be on the back. Do we go token side? No, nope. not token the side. The non token side. So it's the low value. So you'll have four common foils. Okay. Nothing great. Yep. And then uncommon? Then, uh, oh, sorry. Wait, no, five? Five, five commons. Like, then, boom. Then the effect. Two uncommons. Path. Hey, not very bad. nice. And then you got. Then borderless, I have a grilled turf. You have flicker a flicker wisp, wisp with awesome. the horrifying art. That is that. Oh, it's like aliens. And from here on, we're gonna separate things out. Okay. From after the the the. So first once we hit the first borderless, we'll make just a pile of everything that that is in the pack. Okay. Young pirate coiling right. oracle. Inquisition foil. thought scour foil. Burning tree emissary. Cynic growth uh, foil borderless. Nice. Then we'll have a rare. Glimpse. Another glimpse uh, foil. The wrong command. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hardened Scales. Nice. Force that of is negation. Beautiful. That is Border absolutely lids. beautiful. Hardened Scales is a nice hit, too. Yeah. And I like the art on that. Where It's like we're making a harder dinosaur. Yeah, I messed up a lizard. Then we'll have our etched. Uh, Teneb the Harvester. And Alesha. Not really anything for either of us yeah. there. Then... To Fairy's Protection Borderless. Very nice. That's a that's big a beautiful hit. beautiful card. Grand Arbiter Augustin the Fourth. Now that's annoying. Yeah, Make he's your very annoying. You. And then we have our And token. a spider. Two double-sided. Yep. Spider Scion. Which always makes it fun for, like, TCG listings, because sometimes one of the foil tokens will be worth money. There, but, I saw a couple <laughs> tokens that are actually worth money in this one, like mm -hmm. so the Liliana... Uh, the Last Hopes token. Yeah. Yeah. Captain, three, five, major Earth, five. Okay, that is fifth. Boom. Boiler works. Oh, I, I oh you already went through those. past those. Monastery, Swift Spear. Rampant Growth. Rock Farm. Seeker of the Way. Swift Spear again. Terminate. What is BS? I really like the art on that Terminate. Oh, it's yeah, that's like nice. Through die the Wyvern. Or, uh, Wyvern. Gruel Turf. Chancery. It's like very red heavy. Revel art. Oh, impervious great worm. Yeah. It's a convoke massive does nothing. <laughs> Glimpse the unthinkable again. Consecrated Sphinx. This wants me to mill. To fairy's protection again. Nice. Is that an alternate art? That's the foil etched. That's the foil etched, okay. Una's Prowler, not amazing. Renin six. Very nice. That is a beauty. I got another unicorn. Oh. Why Loving does the wizards? Unicorn. Keep trying it, to give me the unicorn, you, Mander. I want you to have a unicorn. And I do it. not want the unicorn. <laughs> if you want to build unicorn tribal as an EDH deck or horse tribal EDH, go ahead. Why not? It, it won't be good, the, but you, it'll you be fun. You can have a cat and dog tribal. You can have a unicorn tribal. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, Blood Artist and a Lightning Bolt. Burial Rites, Jeskai, and Unearth. Burning Tree Emissary. Uh, another unearth. Are they doing doubles? Because this is the second time where I had a double. Wall of Omens and Unearth Foil. <laughs> That's the second time. The other one had it too, I think. Nice. Golgari Rot Farm. Again, another Rot Farm. Wall of Omens. Zur. I hate Zur. Uh, Mizzix. The worst mythic in the Modrova. set. Modrova. We're loving Modrova. Assassin's Trophy. Very nice. 
That's 26, I think, was Muldrotha. Nice. Aurelia. And Sidisi. That is actually quite expensive in the foil etched right now. Really? It, not many? Uh, it is very well used in EDH. Like, if you are building Boros, Aurelia is either the commander or in the deck doing something. Gifts ungiven. Liliana the Last Hope nice. Borderless Foil. Very nice. Second best? Uh, for Except the for Borderless etched. Foil, aside from the, like, Imperial Seal... Uh, or any of the textured ones, but God help us. Hopefully we can get one of them, but I, my hopes aren't high. Yeah. Oh, I got a treasure token. I have a knight. Hot scour. Oh, I shouldn't count these one. These no. are thick too. If you mm -hmm. feel these cards, you just immediately feel like it is thicker than a regular magic That's, card. The Japanese print runs are much better quality. Yeah. Your Mentor of the meat. Thought scour again. Oh, skip one. Eternal witness. Rakdos carnarium. Is it Boilerworks again? Spell Pierce. Coiling Oracle again. Selesnia Sanctuary. Micaeus. Baleful Liege. I've gotten three lieges so far in the openings we've done. Oh, Micaeus is very nice. The wrong Micaeus, but he's still nice. Yeah. Cedrus Traitor King. Anger of the Gods. Not amazing. Yeah. Assassin's Trophy. Rishkar. Assassin's Trophy is a nice hit. Useful. Chaos War. Hey, look. An Assassin's Trophy. I like the high quality. Yeah, I love that art. The Where, old school. <laughs> read the uh, flavor text on it. Confused but undeterred, the butterflies charged into battle. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that is red. That it's is so what, beautiful. That that uh, perfectly personifies what red should be. I'm just like, yeah, we're going to just flutter at you. All right, we're going to go through. We'll figure out some pricing and see which one of us uh, won this box battle. Welcome back. So... The big hits from my box totaled up to $440 worth of cards, which is absolutely not bad for a collector's box of this set. Uh, Frank, on the other hand, had $779. Uh, the Ren and Six is currently at $250. These are all, you know, pre-release prices a few days before release, so these are going to change. Yeah, so when you watch this later, don't leave angry comments. Yeah. Or leave angry comments, we'll pin them to the yeah. top. Because, I mean, for some reason, Etched Foil Teneb is $70, according mm -hmm. to TCG Player. I do not believe that. Uh, Aurelia is, like, 100 Teferi's Protection sitting at 70 for the Etched. A lot of good stuff got pulled here. And uh, we will go on to the next one and see if I can beat you in any of these videos. It is not allowed. Now, I will just fail over and over on camera for all of YouTube and Eternity.